morning guys. I just sat down to fill out my planner for the day. I have the Yule Log going on the TV. I love to have this playing, just good cozy vibes. I always have it on whenever I'm filming a sit down video. Also just lit my favorite pumpkin spice latte candle from Bath and Body Works. And in today's coffee, I use my Chobani peppermint mocha creamer. I know it's a little bit early, but I love a peppermint mocha so much more than a pumpkin spice. So I couldn't pass when I saw it in the grocery store. But I wanted to read you guys the quote that came on today's planner. This is the same planner that I showed in my last vlog, but I really love this one because it has a breakdown hour by hour, top three priorities, a to-do list, a note section. It gives you a quote for every day. And then one of my favorite parts is it has a gratitude section, which is really nice. It just helps you start your day off on a good foot and like a good mindset. But anyways, today's quote says, better by far you should forget and smile than that you should remember and be sad. I just thought that was a really good quote. Wanted to read it to you. But but anyways, I'm gonna finish filling out today's agenda, figure out what I need to do, and I'll catch up with you guys after. All right, so now we're actually on our way to Whole Foods. We were gonna go to the gym, but then we realized we have no food, and I hate working out on an empty stomach, so we decided to just go for a nice long walk to the grocery store for now. I think we're gonna go to Whole Foods. We're just kind of taking a long way there, getting our steps in, and gonna pick up some things. We're like literally out of everything though. We're out of eggs, milk, all of the necessities we've definitely been eating at home a lot more than we usually do which is good not only like health wise but just like money wise so proud of ourselves for that but also realizing like how quickly you go through things grocery shopping trip about to make the pumpkin spice latte i am so excited to try it. i just finished eating lunch my caesar salad was so good i'm excited to try this recipe though because it seems pretty easy like very minimal ingredients milk sugar vanilla extract pumpkin pumpkin pie spice and then whipped topping which i mean you have to add this it didn't call for it but if you're having a pumpkin spice latte with no whipped cream on top and I feel like this goes without saying, but obviously you're gonna need some coffee. It only calls for half a cup though, so I just made a little bit and made it super strong. And it's super easy, so I'm just gonna go ahead and follow the directions. I'll have it linked down below if you guys wanna follow it and copy. It's pretty much just adding it to a saucepan, removing it, and then whisking in the other ingredients. So let's go ahead and make this. Hopefully it's good. I wish you guys could see Lucy's losing her mind right now because sometimes we'll give her a little bit of whipped cream and she saw me like squirt it on and she's like freaking out. But I'm excited to try this. Oh my God. You guys, this is so good. I think this might even be better than Starbucks. 100% better. I feel like it's because you're using actual pumpkin puree. This tastes like a pumpkin pie. It's so delicious. Babe. You have to try this. I think it's so good. To so tell the vlog your honest opinion. <laughs> Lucy. Can't have it. It's very good. I know, right? It yeah. tastes like a pumpkin pie. Mm -hmm. It's so much better than like artificial. You know, I know. Oh my God. Right. Now I'm gonna wanna make this every day and I don't have the time. All right, since she's freaking out, I'm gonna give her a little squirt. Sit. No, you can't eat it off of here. Lucy, sit. So while I sit here and sip my pumpkin spice latte with Lucy licking her lips aggressively next to me, I figured I would go ahead and talk to you guys about something that I've kind of been dealing with and I feel like I just want to open up on here to see if maybe any of you are going through it. I mean, I know I'm not alone in this issue, but pretty much I just feel like ever since the pandemic, I've kind of been a different person and not necessarily in a bad way. I've just noticed like 
I'm not the exact same person I was before it and obviously that's bound to happen I mean just with time itself like it's been what a year and a half or something crazy the one thing that I've noticed a lot is how long it takes me to recharge my social battery after hanging out with people I used to love to run around with friends and I always wanted to go out and go drinking and, and this could just be me getting older but to be honest I really feel like it just happened because of the pandemic and being indoors so much and not really being around a lot of people I mean we literally closed off our entire life to like the few select people you lived with and to be completely honest I didn't struggle too much with lockdown I was blessed enough to stay with Spencer and his dad and we had a lot of good times I honestly have a lot of good memories during that really strict lockdown so I don't want to make it like it was the most devastating thing ever but it was really stressful there were definitely times that were a lot harder than others but I feel like we did a good job at keeping each other company and always doing different things like we would just do random crafts and play games and whatever but anyways that's not really what I'm talking about I feel like I shared off topic I just feel like now whenever I go to hang out with friends I mean I absolutely love my friends I love getting dinner I love hanging out with them but I feel like it really takes a toll on me afterwards and even like halfway throughout the night I'll just like feel like I need a minute to myself to like gather my thoughts and I feel like I put so much pressure on hanging out with people now and part of that could be just me working from home I'm not around a lot of people in general so when I do get around somebody I feel like I have this like crazy social anxiety that I've never struggled with before and it's just really weird to me and I'm not sure how exactly to handle it but luckily for me I'm really not around that many people considering I work at home it's mostly just Spencer Lucy and I most days and the thing is it's like I actually really enjoy it and I felt like a couple weeks ago I just really wanted to be around friends because I hadn't seen anyone in a while and then since then I've hung out with people on a few different occasions and I don't know I feel like I kind of just want to lock myself in my apartment and work and spend time with Spencer and Lucy again. I feel like it's just not the way it used to be and I know I'm not alone in that. I know a lot of people just kind of limiting their friend group and I'm so lucky to have such amazing people in my life and just such amazing friends, such amazing family. And the one thing I have always struggled with since moving to New York is a friend group because I only lived here like I don't even know like four months before the lockdown happened so I didn't really have much real time and like real life to make any friends and at the job I was working at in the city there was nobody really my age and I don't know so it'll be interesting to see I mean I feel like it's just a learning process like trying to figure out how to be around people again and just social interactions are different I just wanted to share with you guys how I'm feeling I know I'm not alone in this and I don't mean to like be a bummer I try not to bring up this kind of stuff on my videos because I want my videos to be a downer for you guys I want to just bring positivity and share the highlights of my day I feel like I just don't want to bore anyone with like the lowlights and I don't want you guys to like leave watching my video feeling crappy but I just wanted to put this out there in case anyone else is feeling this way so you guys know that you're not alone. I know some other people that I've talked to are definitely feeling this way so I know I'm not alone but it's just a hard thing and we're all gonna get through it. Lucy's gonna get through it too. She's been so lazy today. Haven't you? The laziest girl and she wants this pumpkin. Look there's no whipped cream left. Like I don't know what you want. You cannot have coffee. I don't even think you would like coffee. <laughs> on a happier note I don't think I ever showed you guys that we did get our mirror hung I'm so happy with the way this turned out and how it looks I think it looks so cute I bought these little candlesticks I think I showed this in my vlog where we went to Target I think they look so cute I have yet to burn them I feel like I'm just kind of afraid to for some reason and I'm aware that these shopping bags look pretty tacky I want to get real baskets but for right now we're just keeping them there because they're storing our reusable bags so in this one we have our grocery store bags and in this one we have the bags we use for thrifting and then the wall plug in back there is leaves from Bath and Body Works it's one of my favorite scents it makes the whole place smell really good and I'm pretty sure it's empty so I need to refill it but I'm really happy with how it looks I was worried I wasn't gonna like the gold mirror with the black entry table but I actually really love it I feel like it breaks it up and adds a little something and I already have in mind what I'm gonna do for the holidays I want to put like garland around the mirror I think it'll look so festive and cute but if you guys have any other ideas what I could put here I know I could put like coffee table books but to be honest this is like so thin I don't know I'd have to order like really small books to like stack them but I feel like I just need another like home goods trip and I'll be good to go to have this decorated 
But yeah, I'm really happy with the way it looks and our apartment is slowly but surely coming together. It's a little bit later now. I'm just waiting on dinner to be finished. Like I said earlier, I'm making buffalo chicken dip, but I realized I never showed you how I make it. Now you can put this in a crock pot, but I didn't have the ingredients in time for it to sit during the day. So another thing that I like to do is I will put all the ingredients together on the stove top and then let it kind of melt together. And then I'll go ahead and put it in like a baking dish just to thicken up a little bit. But all it is is an eight ounce block of cream cheese. And then I put in about eight ounces of sour cream. Honestly, I would say more about like 10. I put in a little over half a package. And then I also put in four of these organic chicken breasts. You do have to drain them, which takes like five seconds. But I have to say, if you guys are gonna make this, I 100% recommend using organic ingredients because it makes a world world of a difference. Before I used to use regular canned chicken and I'm telling you it just has a different taste. It's not as good. When you use organic it tastes so much more fresh and you feel a little less guilty about eating this. I know it's not really a dinner meal but we love it so much. And then my favorite hot sauce is the Frank's Red Hot. I put this literally on everything. We are always running out of hot sauce. I usually buy like the big jar but this was all they had when I was at the store and I just kind of eyeball it. You can put in as much as you want based on how hot you want it. I like mine pretty hot. But yeah, just waiting on it to finish cooking. About to eat this and watch In the Dark. We just started season three and it's so good. We tried to watch a new season of You and honestly, we couldn't get that into it. I feel like it was just a little much. I'm sure we'll go back to it, but they also released new episodes of In the Dark and we've been way more into this. If you guys haven't watched it, I definitely recommend because it's so, so good, but excited to dig in. Lucy's being such a good girl. Just got back in from walking Lucy. It's somehow already 8 p.m. We got a little sidetracked watching in the dark. It is just so good, you guys. I'm telling you, if you haven't started watching it yet, you need to. But now I think I'm gonna take some pictures for the business, even though it is late. I just wanna get a little bit more work done today. And then I think I'm gonna take a bath. I'll show you guys some of my favorite bath products, but I just wanna get at least a few things pictured. We have like this Tory Burch dress. I think this is a Reformation dress. And then we also have a couple Hervé Léger dresses, which are really pretty. This one here is actually new with tags. It's like off the shoulders. It's really, really gorgeous. And then we also have this red one, which would be so perfect for like a holiday dress. So I want to get it up in time for Q4 in case somebody's looking for a nice Christmas dress. And then how stunning is this helmet laying satin pink dress? It's like actually so, so gorgeous. I wish it was my size, but it's a size 12. And then I also picked up this sweater, which is the brand The Great. Gray, long sleeve, floral, and Embroidery. I showed this brand in my last haul if you guys didn't see that make sure you go watch it but Yeah, this stuff has already all been seen so I'm just gonna go ahead put it on the mannequin and start taking pictures I'm about to take a bath and then head to bed but before I do I wanted to show you some of my favorite products because I am such a bath shower girl I love my products and I love my things to wind down like I said I've been dealing with a little more anxiety than usual and some of these products have been saving me I love to light a candle when I'm taking a bath. I know the lighting's kind of weird right now, but this is the Stress Relief Aromatherapy Candle from Bath & Body Works. It's so good, and I like to burn this whenever I'm feeling extra stressed. I also have a Sleepy Time Stress Relief Tea that I use, and I'll drink that while I take a bath as well. But for my bath, I am obsessed, you guys. If you do not have this, run to the store. Do not walk, run and buy this. It's so good, it's a Dr. Teal's Epsom salt, but it's a melatonin sleep soak, and I swear this smells so good. It's like chamomile and lavender, and it really does help me sleep better. And then these are also some of my favorites. These are both from Bath & Body Works, their aromatherapy line. This is the lavender and vanilla sleep body cream. I love to put this on after the bath, and then this is a body wash slash bubble bath. I mostly use it for bubble bath, so I'll kind of like switch between this and the Epsom salt. And then I also wanted to shout out these products. These I use more so in the shower, not really a bath, but Necessaire was kind enough to send me some of their products, and I have to say, you guys, I'm so in love with them, and I will definitely be purchasing more of their body wash. This is in the scent Eucalyptus. It smells so good, and it really wakes you up in the morning, just the Eucalyptus scent. Like, it makes you feel so clean and fresh. And then this is also in the scent Eucalyptus, but it's their body exfoliator. And then 
This is their body lotion. This is unscented. I have to say, if you're going to purchase anything out of these three, I definitely recommend the body wash because it smells so good and it just leaves you feeling fresh. But I'm about to go take a bath and then probably start editing this vlog and get ready. I think we might go thrifting tomorrow, so maybe I'll film a thrift with me. Stay tuned. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up down below if you did, and I will see you guys in my next vlog. Bye! She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her.